I never could discover what the world was all about Although I searched everywhere The good and bad were too mixed up to sort them out Until I looked inside my Until I looked inside my heart Ordinary miracles surround me Ordinary miracles around me I gathered a basket of sunbeams today My grandma told me stories, but I always wanted more. I heard a thousand fairy tales, and though I like the rest, the brothers Grimm and Anderson are those I love the best. Adventure, fun and fantasy, romance and song and rhyme, beginning with the magic words once upon a time and now I am a grandmama telling stories as I knit though I confess I sometimes tend to mix them up just a bit now how did it go um 
Once upon a time, there were two little pigs. Oh, goodness gracious me. Were they really ugly ducklings? And was it two or three? Let's see. Now they went to walking in the wood and soon met Big Bad Riding Hood. Or did they meet Pinocchio? Good heavens, I don't know. Cinderella and the seven wolves. I'm sure they're in the plot. But what about that Snow White dwarf? Was he there? Or maybe not? Oh dear. Well, something funny happened then. I think I'd better start again. I don't care what the others say. My fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cindy who lived with her wicked stepmother and her two daughters. Day and night, this stepmother worried and fretted about only one thing. Just listen to her. It was just before Cindy's old grandfather died that he wrote out his will and he signed it. Then he rolled up that will and hid it someplace saying only his Cindy would find it. Though I never did see what her grandfather wrote, I'm certain as certain can be that the nasty old fogey left all that he owned to Sandy instead of to me. The house and the stables, the chairs and the tables, the paper and pencils, the kitchen utensils, the chocolate confection, my china collection, the glass chandelier, my purple cashmere. And what about me? There'll be nothing for me. So I will find the will. I will find the will. And Cindy will never enjoy it. I will find the will. I will find the will. I will find the will and destroy it. And everything will be mine. But if she discovers it before I do... The day of her marriage, she'll ride in a carriage with satin and laces and nice social graces. And what about me? <laughs> There'll be nothing for me. Nothing but stale bread and misery. <laughs> nothing but winter and poverty. And how will my daughters face hardship and strife when they're just getting used to the good things in life? But I will find the will. I will find the will. I will find the will today. I will find the will. I will find the will. Where there's a will, there's a way. The stepmother treated Cindy very, very badly and made her work from dawn to dusk. And why do you think she treated Cindy so terribly? Because I'm mean, mean, mean. It's great to be mean. I love it. Mean, mean, mean. Can't wait to be mean. <laughs> How do you think she treated her own two daughters, Ursa and Bertha? Nothing's too good for my own darling daughters. So pretty, so dainty, so gay. And I want the best for such wonderful children. No one 
<laughs> and those two daughters simply loved their singing practice. Isn't it fair that I should be so wondrous? Isn't it fair that I should be so fair? <laughs> A falls from me is going to be so thunderous. It's not my fault that I'm so debonair. Don't pay too much attention to my sister dear. But maybe she's deluded as can be. There's only one the audience will stand and cheer And that, of course, my friends, is little me uh, oh. Come on, girls, together now Sisters, sisters, no one can resist us Sisters, sisters, beautiful and fair Sisters, sisters, no one can resist us Sisters, sisters, we're so deaf and fair Come see my ballet and you'll witness Demonstrations of physical fitness They'll drink champagne from my little shoe But once again you've tried to did some poo The people will cheer and rejoice At the pure sound of my voice my do re mi fa is much smoother than silk. Do re mi fa. But her soul a ti do curdles the milk. Ha 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 Now stop it, girls, and sing. Sisters, sisters, no one can resist us. Sisters, sisters, beautiful and fair. Sisters, sisters, no one can resist us. Sisters, sisters. We're so there! So, while Eartha and Bertha were singing away, Cindy was downstairs in the kitchen, working hard as usual, with only her animal friends as company. Cindy, go and wash the window. Cindy, sweep the hall. Cindy, when you finish, scrub the kitchen wall to wall. Cindy, have you cleaned the laundry? Cindy, Cindy mop the floor. Cindy, don't forget to dust behind the kitchen door. Cindy, go and weed the garden. Cindy, rake and prune. Cindy, get a move on. Cut the grass this afternoon. Cindy, have you groomed the horses? Cindy, milk the cow. Cindy, Cindy. Cindy, Cindy. Cindy, Cindy do it now. Poor Cindy. Work, work, work. Though sometimes she'd sneak out by the pond with her sad little friend, the ugly duckling. The ugly duckling wasn't Cindy's only friend. The three little pigs were always around to cheer her up. 
Three little pigs went to a wood. Shonka Ichikoku. They kind of liked the neighborhood. Shonka Ichikoku. They were keen to settle down. They found the classy part of town. But everywhere those porkers went, there were no rooms for rent. They huffed and puffed along every street till they were all dead beat. They took a course in architecture. Shunga Ichigoku. Never missed a single lecture. Shunga Ichigoku. The first pig built a house of straw, slapped new carpets on the floor, put Mama's picture on the wall, and put plants in the hall. He huffed and puffed both day and night until he got it right. Now a wolf lived up on Vinegar Hill. <laughs> Sold his mother for a dollar bill. <laughs> he was mean and he was big and he was very fond of pig. Went down to the house for a friendly talk and took his knife and fork. He built it strong when old man Wolfie came along. By the hairs of my chinny chin chin, you'd better let me in. He huffed and puffed and blew it flat, and brother, that was that. The third pig said, I really ought to build my house of bricks and mortar. He finished the house at ten to three, opened the window. Did he see a wolfie coming down the road to view his new abode? He huffed and puffed around the place with purple in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so down the chimbley he goes. A whiff of smoke goes up his nose. Then Wolfie, with his tail on fire, decides it's time he should retire. He gets the chain to Timbuktu, the best thing. Meanwhile, the stepmother, unsuccessful in her search for the will, became desperate and asked her evil magic mirror for help.
Dutmar's cottage, Cindy found it empty, except for a garden full of carved wooden figures. It was Pinocchio and the seven dwarves, and when Cindy kissed them, they miraculously came to life to help her. I'm alive! My name is Goody. We call him Moody. Here we have Funny. His name is Rooney. And don't forget Looney, the brains of the crew. Meet Mitzi and Pitsy. That makes seven. Who are you? I'm Cindy. Just one Cindy. How do you do? Hang on, hold your horses. Before it's too late. If you count us again, you will find there are eight. And just for the record, I'm sure you'll recall, I happen to be the most famous of all. <laughs> <laughs> Renowned the world over, from London to Tokyo, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pinocchio. So, so we're eight wooden friends, and although we are small, when Cindy riddle to discover that Grandpa's will indeed had left everything to Cindy. Soon after, she married Philippe, and they lived happily ever after. Listen to the church bells ring. Listen to the songbirds singing. See the dark Roll away, it's Cindy's wedding day. Hello, smiles and happiness. Hello, nice tomorrow. Goodbye, nasty yesterday. Goodbye, tears and sorrow. Goodbye, rain clouds. Hello, sun. There's nothing more to fear. Fairy tales should end like this. Lots of friends to hug and kiss. Bright blue sky and weather bliss and springtime all the year. Listen to the church bells ringing. Listen to the songbirds singing. See the dark clouds roll away. It's Cinderella's wedding day. It's Cindy's wedding